eat the frog first. My leadership coach, Dr. David Robinson, told me to do that several years ago. So this week, we're going to eat a frog. Now, I obviously have no intention of literally eating a frog, but the quote does paint an interesting picture. And the basic idea behind the quote is simply to get the difficult things out of the way first. So this week, that's what we're gonna do. So the first hurdle that we have to get over is identifying what that thing is. What is the most difficult, pressing thing in my life that needs to be confronted. For me, this was a very easy conclusion to come to. If I were to look back on my life and, and pick the one thing out that has caused the most heartache, stress, or anxiety, or the thing that has hindered my quality of life the most, it would undoubtedly be my weight. Several years ago, I went to Kings Island with my wife and a friend and we had gotten in line for one of their most popular roller coasters and the line was so long we ended up waiting for like an hour and a half and when i finally got up there and i got sat down in my seat i tried to pull the bar down and i couldn't get it to latch and so eventually the worker came over and she's pushing it down she's putting all of her weight on trying to get this bar to lock but she couldn't because i was too big so i had to get off the roller coaster and walk away and it can't get much worse than that can it you're wrong because the exact same thing happened on another roller coaster. Now, this isn't some woe is me pity party. I realize that none of that is anyone's fault but my own. And I'm not gonna stand here and pretend like some form of childhood trauma or tragic event caused me to be fat because that just wouldn't be true. I had a wonderful childhood with wonderful parents. The reality is, is that I really enjoy a relaxed lifestyle and I really, really enjoy food. But this has gone beyond me just being overweight. This is about my overall health now. Despite the obvious physical problems, health anxiety, bad sleep, or chronic fatigue, there are three main reasons why I have to do this. I wanna be there. I wanna grow old with Taylor. I wanna watch Maisie graduate and walk her down the aisle. I wanna be there for this beautiful new life that Taylor is growing. And I know that if I don't get this under control, I won't be. And that is my frog. It's been my frog for over a decade. It's been a life-stealing, shame-giving, depression-inducing constant in my life. But it's time to eat this frog. It's time to make myself the best version of myself that I possibly can be. It's time to give this problem the unbroken treatment.